A first generation of COVID-19 vaccines is expected to gain approval, but more are coming, more, and some say better. It may take some time for the best to emerge. Among the next generation of vaccines, a nasal spray, not an injection. At Washington University School of Medicine in St. Louis, researchers in this laboratory developed a nasal vaccine that's now produced by academic spin-off company Precision Virologics. You lean your head back and take a spray, so it's, it's quite easy. Professor of Radiation Oncology, Dr. David Curiel, is the interim CEO of Precision Virologics. The startup is supported by Biogenerator, the investment arm of BioSTL. Dr. Curiel's COVID-19 vaccine would be delivered in one dose through the nose. That made it superior to the other vaccines that required multiple doses, but more importantly, it sterilized the upper respiratory tract. So it appeared to have a better ability to provide immunity at the sites relevant to infection. Importantly, this latter finding may be relevant to preventing the spread of the virus. And that's what's so important in a pandemic agent like this. To develop the vaccine, they use the SARS-CoV-2 spike protein that the virus uses to invade cells. They insert it into another virus called an adenovirus. The adenovirus is a common cold virus. I've worked on adenovirus for 30 years. I'm the most published, the most cited author in this virus. I'm the biggest fan of this virus and I knew its attributes. Curiel says his vaccine is successful in mouse studies. Washington University School of Medicine's Dr. Michael Diamond is professor of molecular microbiology and of pathology and immunology. Diamond is the scientific advisor for precision virologics. The work in his lab was key to proving the nasal vaccine's full potential. The SARS-CoV-2 virus, the agent of COVID, doesn't replicate in mice. So this useful test system wasn't useful. And Mike Diamond had figured out a way to render mice susceptible to COVID. And that enabled us to test our vaccine. So using that model, we could test the vaccine and we could test multiple routes. Recognizing that it was a respiratory infection and recognizing that some of the other vaccine candidates had failed to eradicate the virus from the upper respiratory tract, we hypothesized that immunizing by the nose would be a means to induce a superior immune response in the upper respiratory tract. Curiel says his vaccine is successful in mice when other adenovirus vaccines are not. He is using a version of the adenovirus that infects chimpanzees because many people have immunity to the human adenovirus. It's a simian adenovirus from a chimpanzee. It has a stabilized antigen that elicits higher levels of immunity and it's given by the intranasal rounds. In mice, the research shows how the nasal delivery route creates a more widespread immune response than an injection. It destroys any coronavirus already present. It prevents infection in the nose and lungs. The research suggests that vaccinated individuals would not develop infections elsewhere in the body or spread the virus to others. Sterilize the upper respiratory tract, which was distinct from the other vaccines, may be important to prevent lateral transmission of the virus, which is so problematic in a pandemic. Precision Virologics and vaccine manufacturer Bakrat Biotech in India obtained rights for this novel chimp adenovirus vaccine for COVID-19. Precision has optional rights for the U.S., Europe, and Japan. Bakrat has obtained a license for all other markets and is pursuing clinical trials in India. Precision plans to use St. Louis University's Vaccine and Treatment Evaluation Unit to conduct Phase 1 trials. That's the first step before advancing trials. Phase 2 is a larger trial where you're looking at efficacy in an expanded group of agents. In Phase 3, you're usually looking for protection against infection. So uh, Phase 2 would take longer, perhaps six months. 
and phase three, uh, gee whiz, we're hoping that if there's expedited review of some of the current vaccines, then we could accru uh, accrue the advantage of that and get rapid approval after phase two. He hopes to begin human trials in early 2021 and hopes for the vaccine to be widely available by late next year.